Something isn't right. Your body is breaking out in painful red hives, your eyes are itching, and you feel hot and feverish. You're having an allergic reaction, but to what? You haven't eaten anything weird and you weren't anywhere near a cat, so what's causing these terrible symptoms? Could you possibly be allergic to yourself? As outrageous as it sounds, it's all too real. Some men are allergic to themselves. Specifically, they're allergic to their own semen. Post-orgasmic illness syndrome, or POIS, is a relatively new medical discovery. It was first documented in the medical literature in 2002, and experts are only just beginning to understand this bizarre allergy to semen. At first, researchers believed that POIS was caused by a chemical or a hormonal imbalance, or even that the symptoms were psychosomatic, meaning that the very real physical symptoms were caused by your mind or your emotions rather than by organic physical processes in the body. But in 2011, some Dutch researchers discovered that POIS was actually an allergic reaction to one's own semen. They performed the standard skin prick allergy test on 33 men who experienced allergic symptoms after sex. 29 of the 33 test subjects experienced a reaction consistent with an allergy. The area where their skin had been pricked with the semen solution was swollen, itchy, and red, and they felt like they had come down with the flu. Although this didn't solve the riddle of why or how this reaction happened, it did prove that some component of the semen itself is what triggers the serious immune response and causes such uncomfortable symptoms. Experts still aren't exactly sure how common it is to be allergic to your own semen. Many men are too embarrassed to tell their doctors about their strange symptoms, and many doctors misunderstand the condition and often misdiagnose the symptoms as a sexually transmitted disease. But some researchers guess that as many as 1 in 100 men could be allergic to their own semen. So what's it like to live with an allergy to your own semen? Just imagine if any kind of sexual activity caused you to feel like you'd just come down with the worst flu ever. That's exactly what it's like to live with POIS. Anytime you ejaculate, whether with a partner or not, you start to experience the telltale signs of an allergic reaction. You develop itchy, painful hives where your body came into contact with the semen, and you develop itchy, runny eyes, a runny nose, and congestion. Next, you'll begin to experience strong flu-like symptoms as the reaction affects the rest of your body. You'd feel hot and feverish, you'd be nauseous, and your muscles and joints would ache. In very serious reactions, your lips and throat might swell, and you could have trouble breathing. If you don't get immediate medical attention to address your symptoms, your throat could swell shut and your semen allergy could become life-threatening. These uncomfortable symptoms might begin within a few seconds of exposure to semen and last only a half an hour, or it might take a few hours for the first symptoms to appear, and they could last for up to a week. That's enough to turn almost anyone off on sex. But even if you decided to become a monk and took a vow of celibacy, you wouldn't be safe. The same reaction would happen in response to unintentional nocturnal emissions. Some men with a semen allergy experience a reaction with their very first ejaculation, but some others don't develop the allergy until later in life. And many Many suffer in silence because they're too embarrassed to tell their doctor what's happening. Thankfully, there are treatments available to help those affected with an allergy to their own semen. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories or NSAIDs, like those commonly used to treat arthritis, can help reduce the painful symptoms like hives and swelling. Men with a semen allergy can also use a condom during any sexual activity, including their, uh, solo time. This won't prevent full-body symptoms like fatigue and nausea, but it can help contain the skin irritation and hives to the affected area. The most promising treatment avenue for a semen allergy is immunotherapy, which can help reduce symptoms by 60 to 90 percent. Immunotherapy involves injecting small doses of a man's own semen under his skin on a regular basis to build up the tolerance and make his body less sensitive to exposure to semen. At first, the solution is highly diluted, but over time, as the body builds up a tolerance to semen, stronger and stronger solutions are used. This type of immunotherapy or hypersensitization treatment has been very effective for treating a number of different allergies and conditions, but it's a very slow process, and it can take up to three years to desensitize the body enough to significantly reduce symptoms. With all these options for treatment, hopefully more men will feel confident enough to get over their embarrassment and talk to their doctor about their strange symptoms after sex. In cases of post-orgasmic illness syndrome, a man is reacting to his own semen. Another type of semen allergy called human seminal plasma hypersensitivity is an allergic reaction to all semen. HSP is less rare than POIS, and it is more common or just easier to diagnose in women. 
Up to 40,000 women in the US are allergic to semen. The symptoms of an HSP allergic reaction to semen usually start within 30 minutes of exposure and can last anywhere from a few hours to a few days. Like with POIS, a woman with a semen allergy could experience the hallmark symptoms of an allergic reaction. First, hives would appear on the area where the semen contact occurred, such as their genitals, hands, or even their mouth. The hives might be accompanied by itchy eyes, swollen lips, and nausea. In some rare cases, a severe, potentially life-threatening anaphylactic reaction could occur. Symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction include nausea and diarrhea, a weak, rapid pulse, and difficulty breathing as the throat and tongue swell up. Without treatment, these types of reactions can be fatal. Most cases of HSP are caused by a severe immune reaction to a certain protein found in the semen, but in some cases the reaction could be caused by an underlying allergy to a food or a medication present in the seminal fluid. Unlike POIS, which is often experienced from an early age, it's common for women to develop an HSP semen allergy in their early 30s, possibly because of hormonal changes, and it can also fade with time. It's also not unheard of for a woman to experience semen sensitivity with one partner but not with another. Treatment for an HSP semen allergy in women is very similar to the treatment of POIS in men, with some key differences. Women with a semen allergy should make sure that their partner wears a condom during all sexual activities to help limit her contact with seminal fluid. In many cases, this is enough to prevent reactions, since there's no direct contact with the semen. But this can pose a problem for any couples hoping to have children. While HSP doesn't directly impact fertility, it can be pretty hard to make a baby while using condoms. And when skipping the condom puts you at risk of a severe allergic reaction, the idea of getting pregnant can start to feel downright impossible. Ok, quick caveat here. We're by no means implying that condoms are 100% effective at preventing pregnancy. Don't take your birth control advice from YouTube. Talk to your doctor about your options. Anyway, for women with a semen allergy who want to conceive, there are a couple of options that they can try. Like with POIS, desensitization might help reduce symptoms over time. For women suffering from a semen allergy, their desensitization process involves placing a diluted semen solution inside their vagina to build up their body's tolerance. Over time, the solution is left in place for longer periods until eventually she's able to withstand exposure to semen without experiencing symptoms. After the initial desensitization, the woman will need to make sure she is consistently exposed to semen to maintain her tolerance. Some experts recommend having unprotected sex at least every 48 hours to maintain immunity. That's one prescription we can all get on board with. If desensitization isn't effective or if they just don't want to wait that long to start their family, intrauterine insemination or IUI or in vitro fertilization IVF are some options for conceiving a baby without having to have unprotected sex. Believe it or not, a semen allergy is not the only strange allergy that can put a damper on your sex life. Some people are actually allergic to their own sweat. It's called cholinergic urticaria, and it means their body mounts an immune reaction to an antibody found in their own sweat, immunoglobin G or IgG. People who are allergic to their own sweat have to take care not to overexert themselves, and that means avoiding exercise, excessive heat, and yes, even sex. And if you thought a semen allergy or even a sweat allergy was bad for your sex life, wait until you hear about these crazy allergies. Urticaria is the clinical name for the itchy, painful red hives that some people experience after being exposed to an allergen. In most cases, a food, chemical, or as we just learned, a bodily fluid is to blame for the hives. But in some very rare cases, an urticaria reaction can be the result of a sensation. Some causes of a sweat allergy might actually be a reaction to the sensation of heat in the body, which causes similar symptoms of hives, rashes, and itchiness. Whether it's the heat itself or their own sweat, those afflicted with an allergy to heat have to avoid activities that can cause them to get hot and bother. Exercise, extreme temperatures, and you guessed it, sex can all trigger a reaction. On the flip side, some people are allergic to cold temperatures and experience similar reactions when exposed to freezing water or air. At least sex doesn't seem to be a problem for them, unless they're trying to get it on in a snowbank. Vibratory urticaria is an allergic reaction to vibrations. Thankfully, the reactions are usually mild. Sufferers typically experience hives and skin rashes on the areas of their body that endure the vibrations. But it can make simple daily activities extremely challenging. Common things like exercising, riding in a car, clapping your hands, and of course having sex all cause vibrations, and it can be very difficult and even painful to endure these activities and the accompanying reaction. Another weird allergy that can definitely put a damper on your sex life is pressure urticaria. That's right, some people can actually be allergic to pressure. 
those poor people experience the typical urticaria symptoms hives, rashes, and itching on any area of their body that experiences pressure. Imagine not being able to sit down without your bottom erupting in painful itchy hives. And if sitting is an issue, we'd imagine that your sex life is suffering too. But probably the most heartbreaking allergy and the worst one for your sex life aside from a semen allergy is an allergy to the human touch. It's called dermatographia, a word that literally means writing on the skin, and it's an accurate description of what the allergy is like. At the slightest touch, the skin of someone with dermatographia will erupt in painful, itchy red hives. Most sufferers are so sensitive they can literally trace shapes and words into their own skin with their own fingers and watch it come to life as an angry red welt. One woman, a photographer named Ariana Page Russell, is trying to raise awareness about this rare and strange condition by sharing photos of her own body writing online. Ariana has found this to be a great way to connect with fellow dermatographia sufferers. She says, they feel better having a name for it and knowing they're not alone. While it's hard for most of us to imagine living with a strange allergy, like an allergy to semen, thousands of people have to deal with these allergies and symptoms every day. Thankfully, most of these reactions are mild, and many treatments exist to help those suffering from a semen allergy, but learning about these bizarre allergies definitely leaves us feeling grateful that we can sit down, exercise, and, yes, have sex without experiencing an embarrassing and painful allergic reaction. So, what are your thoughts on this rare and bizarre allergy to semen? How do you think you would deal with such a weird allergy? What other strange allergies have you heard about? Be sure and let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you thought this video was fascinating, be sure and check out our other videos, like this interesting one titled Man Resistant to Cold and a Man Allergic to Cold. Or perhaps you'll like this other video. We can't promise that these videos will cure your hay fever, they just might make you feel a little bit more grateful for your seasonal allergies. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.